They're not the my PBC family and friends. Pastor Brian here with another quick bite, living the word. Today our words going to come from a, a, a verse you've heard many, many, many times. If you walk with the Lord for any length of period of time at all, you've heard this verse over and over and over again. And, and I want to share with you something the Lord's been impressing upon me about this verse. So here's the thing. I'm going to read to you the verse, and then I want to come back and talk to you about this. The verse is Psalm 46, verse 10. It says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I'll be exalted in the earth. Be still and know that I am God. This is the challenge the Lord's been issuing to me personally uh, in my own personal walk with him, but also in my professional walk with him as a pastor as of late. Because so many times we want to get like upset about what we see happening. People leaving the church or people, you know, going and moving away or the case. And it's like, Lord, what are you doing? What are you doing to us? It seems like it's just like, like and I sit there and I go, what's going on? What do we need to do? What needs to change? And he's just been challenging me. Every time I start to pray about this lately, be still and know that I am God. But then I thought, well, what is this really talking about here in this, in this psalm? Because I don't want to take it out of context either, Lord. And that definitely is a great challenge. I mean, that be still, literally to, to cease, to be idle, to sit and wait on the Lord to see what he's going to do. But what is the psalmist talking about waiting in the midst of? Well, honestly, great troubles. Go back and read. My challenge to you is to go back and read Psalm 46 today. As, and see all the great challenges the Lord talks about and what he's going to overcome and help them to come through and who is the God over and the God of. And the challenges that we face. Now, a lot of them are actually coming from enemies from without. But honestly, sometimes it's even sometimes in our own heads we come up. But he says this, and this is what I really want to close with tonight. So be still and know that I am God, he says to us. And then he closes that and he says, the Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Selah. You guys, we talked about that Selah before. Rest. Right? That breath you take in the midst of music to kind of, you're playing and you're playing a wood, wood instrument and you're just kind of out of error and you got to take that moment and get that rest. You, go, <gasps> you take a breath so you can keep going. Well, this is what he's challenging us in. This be still and know that I am God. It doesn't mean we're sitting around just not necessarily doing anything. It means that we're waiting on him. We're idle. It doesn't mean we're not doing the things he's called us to do. We're not sitting there trying to come up with new plans and new gadgets and new ways about going about things. We just be still and know that he is God. Because the God, he is our refuge. It says he's the God of Jacob, he's our refuge. He's with us. The Lord of hosts is with us so we can rest. So no matter what you're going through, or no matter what challenge you've been facing, no matter what has been heavy upon your heart maybe as of late, maybe you have nothing, and that's awesome. Pray for others who do. Just be still and know that he is God. We don't have to have the answers. We don't have to know all the solutions. We don't have to worry about what's going to come out of this world and what the heathen are going to do and how they're going to rise up and, and all these things like this. Go back and read that psalm. Get it, guys. And understand that he is God. So we can be still. He is the Lord of hosts. He is our refuge. Selah. So this is night, or this morning, as the case may be when you're watching this. As always, remember that I love you. We love you. God loves you, and God's got this.